got a recap. recap. Yes, you yeah. got a recap. The Leviathan was disappointing. <laughs> it really was. It was not what I expected. Even then, the battle was a lot shorter than I imagined it to be as well, actually, with it. I was expecting it to be a highly lengthy conflict. Um, that's really the main thing I remember from last week. That's I remember from last week when I played the game, right? <laughs> that was only like the first, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, we did so half an hour of it. We're now in digging out an asteroid to catch a stress beacon to the message back to home saying, Yo, we're still on the ship. Can you please send a rescue party? Although, probably better than our rescue party because we kind of fucked it up. Um. It's apparently jamming fields very localized. Just an asteroid out to the beacon attached Oh, we got more of these horrible. Things. It's the gauntlet. And then. Um, the this. There's the prize. The golden monkey. What green shirt was that? The golden monkeys in it. Was it Takeshi's castle? I can't remember. No, it's one in this country. Kids had monkeys and shit. I can't remember what it was called. I'm having a weird flashback to my childhood now. It's alright. I've got a safer ground for us to move back to. If it's the Bible again, I'm leaving. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> This first is the Bible. to be saved through having children. I would argue that's J.K. Rowling's point of view if you read all the how all these Hogwarts children ended up all married and children. And I mean all of them. <laughs> Which says, and yet she will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith and love and holiness with self control. And they say video games and such an Um. Ooh. And open. Open? Oh yeah, there's a section in Titus. Isaac? Do you Older have just like Bart and it's just on hand? Hey, uh, yeah, speaking I, of women, it's my girlfriend. What? He's alive! Yes! I get, I win five bucks by saying she was still alive. No, don't run off, no, if you run off, you'll die again. That's how this works. Never split up in horror films. It never ends well. Unless you're Scooby-Doo. Even then, they're not on their own. And we always know who Daphne Archer's usually is, or, or at least Fred is off looking at himself in the mirror. She was Daphne in the will be separated at some point, because then Fred's Daphne got to rescue her. She has to be the damsel in yeah. distress. Because Velma's a lesbian. Um, Shaggy's a stoner. <laughs> Scrappy's well, really irritating. Well, um, the different styles of uh, Shaggy, Velma, and then Fred and Daphne are meant to represent the two main forms of culture in the 60s. Dead. Is that why he wears a neckerchief? Never trust what, a man in a neckerchief. Fred and, uh, Fred and Daphne that represent hair? mainstream culture. Whereas Shaggy and Velma represent Is that why he's blonde hair and blue eyes? No, not the colour scheme exactly. That's down to the anime. But in terms of the style of dress. Hmm. Because they literally are. It's the idea of Fred is your typical idea of like the popular handsome guy at school. And Daphne is like Cheerleader, the that Whoa! There's, there's a jump scare. That's a movie jumping game. I'll keep putting that movie jump around. We're now playing Defend Your Girlfriend while she hacks something. What are you doing with that thing? Playing. You finished your Scooby Doo tirade. Alright, there wasn't a tirade. So what's Velma represent? You've done Fred Daphne. It's all counterculture. So the Velma's counterculture as well. So you gotta do the counterculture as well. Mm. That's why we can't talk properly. Oh. What's Scooby Doo? Well, Scooby's a dog. Right. Scrappy talks Stop. perfectly Stop. fine. Stop. Poor Scrappy talks perfectly fine when there's speech impediment. Yeah, that's different. Okay. He's really fucking irritating, but. I would give credit to the Scooby Doo movie, it's a part of Trite, but they made Scrappy the villain. I love you. <laughs> so I would give them credit for that. They knew everyone hated Scrappy Doo. And I mean everyone. Yeah. Was a clever way to subvert expectations, really. No one likes Scrappy Doo. Kids do, kids love him. No, kid, you irritate the fuck out of me. Um, he never shuts up. And whenever he tries to be heroic, he ends up making things worse. Oh, puppy power. I've been running trajectory calculations, and if we launch soon, there's a good chance the asteroid can reach a safe distance to begin transmitting. Still no sign of Hammond. In his state, I can't imagine he's still alive. Cherry. He's alive. He's not cutting the cutting the bullshit. He's not gonna. 
just to stop me. Screw it, deal with it. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in You're quoting in the prayer. Bible again. Yep. Romans 12. You 12. just have a list of Bible quotes. I found a website where it literally says, What does the Bible say about? And you can type in anything. Five verses on a Mac on a subject. What does the Bible say about MacBook Pros? I might have difficulty with that. I can't anything you can I'll go with technology. Unless it'd be good for a laugh. Uh, I've got 28 Bible verses on technology. I'm trying to find some that. Well, there's a few. It's weird, because obviously it doesn't literally look for the word. Oh, very Top one I got is from Genesis. Genesis 11, 6. And the Lord said, Behold. Let there be Sonic the Hedgehog. They are one people, and they all have one language. And there's only one beginning of what they will do, and nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible. Um, we have two lines. Don't put your I'm just quoting the Bible there while the sounds of rip monstrosities. That's my experience at church. The vicar quoting. Well, here we are. Screaming. This, one's, this one's a little bit closer to technology itself. The Lord said to Moses, See. "Here is your MacBook Pro. Rejoice." Lo. I can't the way with those All hail our Messiah, the Steve of Jobs. I've got elevator access to the See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with ability and intelligence, with knowledge and all craftsmanship, to devise artistic devices, to work in gold, silver, and bronze, and cutting stones for setting and in carving wood, to work in every craft. Was a bit in Revelations, actually. Oh, technology. great to be good. Um, <laughs> you want to hear that one? Go on and give us a Revelations. Revelations. The most interesting chapter of the Bible. Um... Oh, we've got two, actually. Two from Revelations. And they're dead or die. Ah, new it's iPhone old. came out. Um, Sodom and Egypt, where their lord is tied. For three and a half days, some of the tribes and languages who gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents, because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. Yes. I think one of them, the next one is Revelation. And this is how I rode on them. They left it, the color of fire. Sapphire and a sulphur, and the heads of the horses were like lions' heads, and fire and smoke and sulphur came out of their mouths. By these three plagues, the third mankind was killed by the fire and smoke and sulphur coming out of their mouths. Definitely an iPhone launch, that one. I've got to say one thing for the Bible it does fire and brimstone very well. That's why I like the Old Testament more than the New Testament. Old Testament God don't take no shit. <laughs> New Testament God is for people. You know, but Old Testament God killed all the first newborns and firstborns in Egypt. Yep. <laughs> Get him fuck around. None of this hippie Jesus shit. Fucking hippie. Jesus wasn't he had long hair, he had long hair and wore sandals. He was a hippie. Voting Red Dwarf. I don't know, was that quote from Red Dwarf? It was, it was accidental. Yes, it is. It's, it's, um, Jesus, what the hippie? Where is he? he? had long hair and more sandals. What more do you want? That's a rumor. Um, I'm not in betrayed. I, I personally subscribe to the idea that Jesus was a surfer. Had long hair and he Dude, could take walk on water. Proper 90s surfer. Um, just. Sha. Sure. Sha. Sure. Just like, relax. Dude, it's totally provided. I would love it if Jesus actually spoke like Every I'm version of Jesus, you see it like he's far too white. Um, well, that's, that, is that And no, by nowhere near Jewish enough. Um, oh. I can't let that happen to me. He was a Middle Eastern Jew. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you, you white people. Why should white people be Jesus? Please are you trying to tell me, Sean? Are you trying to suggest that Caucasian Christians in the western in the Western Hemisphere prefer the idea of Jesus looking like them, as opposed to a Middle Eastern Jew? 
Uh, no, of course. Insinuate the sword. No, of course. We, we would never subscribe to it. We would never even suggest subscribing to it, would we? No. No, of course not. Suddenly, the list of our subscribers grew dramatically. It either grows dramatically or shrinks dramatically. Or I don't know how many Christians are on YouTube. More likely, given people who listen to our thing, I'm going to say it doesn't change at all. Woo! Um, I can say whatever I like. Um, I hate insert group you like here. Done. <laughs> Go with that. Are you telling me just because of the way the internet works, when people listen to that bit, they will just hear... I'm pretty sure that's how large part of the internet works. They just hear something and they, their mind twists it to so somehow they're the victim in the situation. After all, do I need to bring up this year's presidential election? No. <laughs> no. Given it's the hot topic in every single news story, no, I don't think you really need to. Well, that's your name. Being the victim these days is highly, how do I say this nicely, profitable. Um, and easily exploitable and marketable. Thanks, uh, thanks Obama. It was a surprise, I must say. Surprise isn't the word I would use. Um, Shock? Yeah, that's closer. Because I remember I went to sleep and I woke my eyes like... I'm just there, I was like, huh! You know, after Brexit, I was kind of calling it. Um, uh, yeah, I was actually for a few weeks after calling them out of this one. like, it's gonna happen. Now we're playing School the Factory. Um, there's always only ever one less factory than you need left in the house. I am still surprised by the result, though. I did not expect Radev to beat Kazvera. Yes. Sorry, we're talking about the same presidential election, yeah, right? We'll go with yes. Yeah. I'm talking about the one in Bulgaria. Um, what have they ever done? Other than have a damn good Quidditch team. Even, yeah, they even, though, they, even though they lost to Ireland. And I still haven't forgiven that film for not having the Quidditch World Cup in it. Or Ludo Bagman, who was by far the funniest character in that book. Um, it was, a, it, to be fair, much as I might be, well, not mocking the election itself, but the importance of it. I'm not mocking the election, I'm mocking Americans in general. Uh, no, I'm talking about Bulgaria. Oh, Bulgaria. Course. I'm mocking Bulgarians. <laughs> I don't even know anyone. No, Bulgaria. I'm not. Um, it's a lovely country. Never been. Um, I have been. It's very nice. Doesn't it all look the same as all former Soviet? I assume it was former Soviet. Well, no, yeah, it's probably it's a former Soviet. Um, Radev, it was in, for one thing, it was in, he was an independent, so he wasn't standing on behalf of the party, but equally, he was generally seen as the pro-Moscow candidate, and he won. Wow. And the Kremlin were very happy with that result, so I remember reading it in the paper. I remember getting the email from Putin himself saying, Yo, Alex, um, just want to know I am feeling really good about this election. Signed, Vlad. I've got a good feeling about the one in the Vlad US. Vlad in brackets, the Impaler. And, um, I don't know why he wants that nickname. No one else calls him that. It's, it's one of those situations where, you know, someone wants to have a nickname. Yeah. And they say, everyone calls me this, but you know, no, no one calls you that. You just want to be called that. Zero G? Yeah, telegraph me. There's your asteroid. There's your problem right there. You've got an asteroid. Oh lordy. Big asteroid. Release the asteroid. Fire at will. It's fire from Death Star. Whoa. Death Star's budget cut. They don't fire asteroids. Couldn't afford to leave it. Uh. I don't like those. Ones. That was a great gun. That was almost a. Uh, what are we doing to the asteroid? We need to get rid of these blue gravity beam things that I don't know what they are. Science fiction thing that's holding it in place. Get on, it. Get on top of it, put the beacon on it. You don't want to launch that, put the beacon on it. It's like when you send an email without the attachment. Like, oh, that's, you're that's like, so annoying. You're annoying. like, can I send another one? That's really awkward now. I better send another one, that would be weird. <laughs> so you've, got to, yeah, you've got to get on that asteroid. It is one of the most inconvenient things when that happens. 
That's more problems right there. You have got to attach your attachments to your email. Don't worry, there's a cream for that. Why haven't we started mining asteroids yet? Well, if anything about the video at work is told me things, uh, we're going to be, we're going to eventually. It's going to be a problem with a Hellspawn invasion. That this and this and Doom have taught me well. I've just looked at your name, by the way, in the Bible. Oh God, I don't know. Do you want to hear it? came up with the Antichrist for some reason. I don't know why. No, quite the opposite. Oh God, it's even worse. Um, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Well... <laughs> I'm not going to shoot myself. That the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. <laughs> That's not me, I'm not competent or equipped for anything. Right. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction. Let's say all God, all God's scripture is profitable. Yeah, it says profitable. It's not like against one of the rules or something about profiteering from God. Like profit that's gotta be a rule against profiteering from God. Profiteering from God. I do like the phrasing though, I have to say. You know, it's like that's gotta be a commandment against us that. And then you can't take his name in vain. Uh ten commandments. Right. That now, now reduced to eight due to inflation. I know there's one about taking in vain. I can't take the Lord's name in vain. Yeah. Oh, watch out for those metal bars. They will crush you if they hit you. Ah! <laughs> right there. I thought I would acknowledge the game was there. <laughs> Here we are. Ten commandments. In order. Film with Charlton Heston. Um, it is actually. They go on for like a big, month. Doesn't it go on for like a month? It's, 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 it's one of the big biblical epics that they made around then. It's, it, to be fair, Ben Hur's an incredibly long film as well. Yeah, we did see the remake version of that. We don't expect shit. My dad wanted to see that. My dad loves the original Ben Hur. My dad liked my, my dad liked the first one. He, he likes Roman stuff. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yeah, I can get the Cliff Note versions of Ten Commandments, need that whole fucking. Uh, Just the Ten Commandments, cut the bullshit. Yeah, happy with the gods. She'll not make herself a carved image or likeness of anything else in heaven. I mean, every church is breaking the Yeah, essentially. Are they aware of this? Or has there been thousands of years of really awkward and no one's brought it up? It's gonna be yeah, don't take the Lord's name in vain. The, third the Lord's one. vain name. Don't take the Lord's, the Lord's vain name. <laughs> he doesn't like you know it when I mean. you do that. Or maybe it's a uh, sheep. Remember the Sabbath. That's the fourth one. Just rest on the Sabbath. It's not broken easy. It, 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 everywhere that comes from there. In it you shall do no work, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle. Nor your stranger who is within your How gate. How are you going to stop the cat? <laughs> don't do anything. Don't do anything. Oh, my God's going to be pissed off. It specifically is don't work. Don't get up. Just say you're better there. I want to know why you would categorise a cattle working, really. I suppose it means like oxen, like doing work on the farm. Yeah. Probably what they meant more than anything Just else. Don't breed. Five is honour your father and your mother. But more so your father. Um, we've Six always is... been over. Yeah. <laughs> Six is do not murder. Seven is do not commit adultery. Eight is do not steal. Don't kill. Unless you're on a crusade, that's fine. That's different. That's because it's a holy war. It's been sanctified by the Pope. Literally, that's what the definition of a crusade was. Uh, number nine is do not bear false witness against your neighbour. And ten is do not cover your neighbour's house, your neighbour's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant. Hey, whoa, whoa, what about a neighbour's husband? <laughs> Doesn't say that. I'm so curious. Not Fine. my favourite bit of it though, it's on this specific Does it say a neighbour's castle? Uh, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbour's. 
which would include your neighbour's husband, I'm afraid, Sean. Ah, uh, I've probably found loopholes in Think Commandments. I can't imagine why there would be loopholes in Think Commandments. There are a few. Well, they're not loopholes, there's just ways of getting around it, really. I wouldn't say it's a loophole, but it's a whole thing if you get permission from the church. Can I murder my neighbour? He's really bugging me. Is he Christian? No, he's Jewish, that's yeah, fine. Um, I feel sorry for the Jewish people. Every Christmas, just everyone forgets about them. Well, that's the only reason you feel sorry. Yeah. Well, well, modern day reason. I wasn't around during the past. But you know, well, you see, there's, there's tons of like, Christmas films and all that. No one remembers. Was it Hanukkah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hanukkah. No one ever remembers Hanukkah. No, it's because we live in a society that's recently bound by uh, Christian ideology. Damn white men. Um, so I'm just being in it there. Um, ah! 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 Right job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your experience in every American college campus right there. Um, ah! White man! Run! Um, or get him fired, either way. Um, I'm glad I didn't make you laugh. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> white man. <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to use that middle town. So they go, ah, white man, and run. What the hell was that? Like, but the guy's actually blocking for this reason. Right, you ready to launch his asteroid? Oh, that was disappointing. As it moved. Beacons on its way. Shit, I was gone. All functions normal and broadcasting wide band. Now we just have to hope somebody's listening. Woo, wide band. I'll position the array receiver. I think that's good. Is it like red band or? He waved to me like nothing was wrong. Okay. Ooh. I should be able to leave this channel open. <laughs> what? The comms array receiver isn't responding. Isaac, can you get back to the bridge? We need that array online or we can't receive signals from anyone oh, responding to the walk. beacon. Uh, I knew I should have got that rail pass. This is costing me a fortune. And then they're on strike. Bastards. Uh, I've been locked in this room. It's never easy, good sign. Oh, that's fine. Right. You know, it's starting to get boring now, guys. Where have you read? It's just Necromorph, oh no. It's like zombies. That would be used. We need to find a new monster. Probably a zombie. I would say vampires, but I quite like doing that. What else have we got? The new, the new zombie craze. There isn't really one at the moment. Uh, oh. walking dead. Most horror the films movie. these days tend to be uh, less on the sort of... Well, they're all, they're all uh, uh, found footage films because that's way fucking cheaper to film. And there was found footage films or in that vein. Oh, this is great. Ah, I fell through the elevator! Oh, I'm in I fell through the elevator and now I'm in space! What the <laughs> hell? I forgot this. Uh, what the hell is happening? I, I fell through the floor in the elevator and now I'm in space. And now I'm dead. <laughs> um, but you fell? That's, I fell through the elevator. The elevator was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Massive. We're back! <laughs> what were you old, sir? What were you Okay, old? okay, elevator. I'm watching you now. <laughs> hey, can you get on? The bit I find even weirder, there were three platforms. Yeah. In the middle of space. I love, I love going to know on, on video game maps and see all the bits that are like. I assume we're from an earlier build that you can be asked to delete and it's put in the way. Also, in game map, the only things that have textures are things you'll see. So if you go behind the wall, there's no texture you can see through it. It's really good. Cut corners and something. I don't know. I did craft this in space. That's really odd. The elevator was alive. Never a deceit in the first place. Okay, I've got this time in. Let's turn into a game show. Japanese, of course, why it gets real fun. Uh, yeah. They don't fuck around. You know? The latest edition of Takeshi's Castle. The flamethrower room. After that, it's the spinning blades, which are all diamond encrusted and sharp. What isn't the basis for the hunger? There's a, there's a premise. It's kind of based on Bottle Royale, which I think it was. That's the itself one is based on something else. Yeah. It's quite a genre of its own. Battle Royale had balls like really fucking kids up. One because it's Japanese made it give it shit. Japanese is really fucking good. Why is that? Also, Battle Royale didn't have Jennifer Lawrence, so I actually gave a shit. Um. 
I saw the trailer for a new horror film that's due to come out next year, actually. Looks quite scary. Paranormal, In terms of, it's, it, Paranormal it, it, Activity number 408. This time it's serious. It's called Get Out. Um, it's a bit more satirical in terms of things. That's what more modern horror are doing now. It's, it's like what they were like The Purge. Mm. And things That's like that. They're going to it's a stupid series about The Purge. The <laughs> second one, well, from what I heard, the sequel was much better than the first. Mm. The entire concept raises too many questions. <laughs> it's many. Like, but there's a, how, but a oh, I need, I need clarification what's going on here because I have many questions about this. It's a horror film. I'm not meant to think about it. Go on, then. Let's hear a quick on your new horror film. That you oh, it's called Get Out. Uh, it's coming out next year. <laughs> I, I, I worked on it. It, it. it was a great I've time. Uh, seemingly become the producer. It's an indie project, so you know, go tell all your friends so we can make money and tell Universal to shove it. Bastard, it's not taking my idea. Watch the trailer. My suggestion would be watch the trailer. It's called Get Out. It... I, I generally I don't like horror films, but if I watched the trailer, I thought I'm curious about the storyline for this. I want to get the details well, of the story like, more. This like one horror films, so like my horror films would actually be fucking scary. Um, well, it's not. It's not a horror film. In, well, it might be closer to being a thriller then, maybe. But I'll send you the link so you can watch it. Next Halloween movie. Wait, when's actually coming out? Because we we'll probably won't be on DVD by that point. Uh, it's coming out in January. Okay, but DVD by that point. <clears throat> in fact, these days it's on DVD before it gets released in theaters. 